Hello, hello. This is Caladoon, and we are back here at the door to Nurgle's base. Now, I actually did wait the forever to get to sleep, as evidenced by this. I also said hi to you all. I'm amazed I managed to scroll up to that. All right. Anyway, potion of strength. Get that in position. Save that for emergencies. Now, I want to figure out if we can actually kill this guy. So, let's wait. Let's wait for him to get a little closer. Okay. I am just going to spend the... I'm just going to start continuously wail on him until the uh, golden apple effect is gone. So, I, said, I genuinely want to know if he can actually be killed or if... Emma, is he actually invincible or is he just... It's basically, is this actually grab the thing and run? Or, oh, oh, there's a lever. Hello, lever. Okay. What the heck does this do? Oh. Okay, so we got a fancy boss fight. Actually, never mind. This is not just a total slugfest. This is a... Be faster than him and click levers fast. Which I can work with, considering my current layout of buffs. Two. Flick that. Alright. Kill all y'all. Lining up outside my thing. No idea what the heck that was that I just killed. But it was kind of cool. Alright. Oh, they can come up here. I, I think I just lit all four of the thingies. Oh, oh, the big thingy just lit up. Okay, big thingy just lit up, and lava is pouring out of it. Oh, man. I don't know what's going on. Let's eat another, because they're delicious. Oh, man. Sick. I also just realized my sound isn't working, so, or my sound isn't sounding, apparently, so... Heh. <laughs> Healed! Man, why isn't the sound working? That's depressing, I really should have tested that before starting. Um, okay, lava poured out, now what? Oh! Oh snap! Some is that there before? I don't think that was there before. Uh, so long, Nurgle. <laughs> Whoa! Well, maybe I just crank my volume down. No. Maybe the sound actually recorded? Maybe not, but either way... Oh yeah. Now let's get out of here. Because I think he actually is invincible. Woo! All right, awesome. You try to fix the sound thing really quick. Whoa, was that? Huh. I don't know, I'm hoping it actually recorded the in, whoa, ow. Punk? Huh, yeah, yeah, you could, you, you die. You get stuck in a wall and you die. Awesome. Red wool, yes, 
<laughs> well, I don't think it's going to be an ex... I guess technically it will be an exciting trip back to base in the sense that I'm hauling a mountain of good stuff, but mechanically I don't think it's going to be an interesting trek. So... Uh, yeah, no. No. Yes. So I got all my loot, and I will see you... <laughs> this is fun. And I'll see you back at base in a few minutes. All right, and now the red wool is secure in the ender chest. Um, went ahead, fixed up armor, got my swords. I decided to grab that diamond pick. And this is now the updated version of the map that Moldy has sent with the chunks in Tree of Life repaired. So let's go check that out and see What's left? I'm guessing our platform is gone. I don't know if you just like copy paste it. Okay, some of it's there. Some of the stuff's still here, which is good. And okay, I'm gonna use the uh, Optifine zoom thing for a second. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I had some torches up there. So it looks like the upper portions of the tree got cleared out a little, but that's okay. We we've got enough torches, enough blocks. Oh. Actually, let's go check out my check on the checkpoint. See if that survived. Cause if it did, I'll probably just go ahead and pillar up to where I was where I was before. You know, there's no reason to really clear those lower branches again if we don't have to, right? Um, it is not, but. Yeah, let's go ahead and... I don't have, never mind, I don't have ladders on me. I'll probably fix that up off camera then. So, let's climb that tree again. Whee. Yeah, but yeah, we got two more worlds to go. We're so close. I'm so excited. Whee. And you're dead. You're dead. Was that? I should have actually taken a closer look. I... Whoa. Okay. So we got we have new things apparently. Um, which looks a lot freakier. Well done. Like, are they wearing a vine or something? Yeah, I think they're wearing like they're like wearing a vine. Huh. Trippy. Cool. Okay. This is new. This is new. Hmm. Okay, let's get some torches down, because these guys just keep spawning. Oh, hello creeper. Alright. Huh. Yeah, sorry, I'm not... I know this isn't the greatest commentary, but these guys are quite intriguing. Not... I did... Ow. Oh, man. I, okay, if I die here, I'm gonna be sorely disappointed. And go. Go away. There we go. Much better. Break that. And... Break that. Huh. Well played, Moldy. Did not expect some brand new stuff. Or they were always here and I just never looked on this tree branch. Okay, let's eat really quick. And I have, I, I brought a crap load of potions too. Why aren't I using those? Let's chug that speed potion. I switched back to the uh, protection boot, protection and feather fall boots instead of the running boots. Just because mobility is not quite as important here as it was in the uh, death domain. Okay, we still have some of the regular dudes, but I guess the... I don't know, I guess just one? Maybe just one got refitted? There we go. Was it? Was it? Was there always this much falling? I, can't, I think there was. I think I just blocked it out of my memory. Okay, I see that there. Whee. Yeah, I'm wondering how 
See, I'm actually wondering how many episodes is going to be total before I finish this, because I've... This is, what, 38 right now? And if I can, I'll, like, try to end it on, like, 42 or something. <laughs> just, for, for, just for the nerd points, you know? Ooh! Sploosh. Yeah, let's go grab those ladders. <laughs> Hmm. Because uh, thinking about it, I don't want to deal with that cave spider section again either. But anyway. Yeah, like I said, I think I know which map I'm going to do next. Actually, once I finish this one, I still need to, you know, just just going to, you know, ask permission anyway, just because it's kind of, it's the polite thing to do, I think. Um and there's one that I do have actually a, I do actually have a co-op playthrough planned with me and some friends, but school's starting up again, and I think they were on vacation for winter break also. So I'm waiting for them to get back, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, play through that. Should be fun. It's going to be a short little series also. And then, yeah, let's see. Uh... How do I do that? Do I have, do I have ladders still? Ladders. Okay, seven ladders. Let's just make loads and loads more. Alright. And a bunch of ladders. Bunch of ladders, bunch more ladders, and yeah, I figure I can kind of try to recreate where I was just by using a similar number of ladders, which that's probably a little more than I had before, actually. I'll leave. Yeah, I'll take a few more, just because I'm greedy. Dump these in the junk chest, and these in the blocks. There's blocks. Alright, let's go recreate that thing. But, yeah. And I might put some other video games back up, actually, on here, just because uh, I actually did try about a month ago to record some more Nuclear Throne videos, but it was basically just a string of bad luck, where I'd, like, you know, I'd find, I'd get the recording settings just right, and I'd play, and then suddenly I'd just do horribly and, like, die repeatedly in, like, the first level. Just because that game, I, th I think Nuclear Throne is a bit lot more Twitch-based than Minecraft is. So, you know, it requires quite a bit more... I don't I can't really talk and play Nuclear Throne at the same time. But I have gotten better, so maybe that'll cancel it out. But, and then sometimes there was, was once where I, like, recorded this perfect run. You know, it was great. I got to, like, you know, I, I made it to the palace, which is kind of like the final... It's not where the final boss is, but it's, like, the, the final area, essentially, in a sense. And I think I just got shot by a skeleton. Yep. But, and then, you know, I finally die, and I'm like, oh, that was great. And I stop it, and it turned out I wasn't recording. So, yay. Okay, let's use a stack and a half of bricks to go up, I think. That should get us pretty close to where we were before. But, yeah. Then other stuff I've been playing through, you know, I've been, uh, actually I just finished Terror Restore, I think I post, I think I've got the, gonna write up the review probably later tonight and post that. Um, it was, it was okay. There were some really, really cool ideas in it, but, yeah, there were, yeah, okay, or we'll use a, oh, that was more than a stack and a, no, no other way, what? Okay, I guess we'll go here. Since, yeah, we kind of hit the roof. It was an okay map. Um, there were some cool ideas in it, but I didn't think that they were executed well enough, personally. Alright. Bridging out. I guess we're going there. Um... And then me and my friend are still, we're still playing through uh, Ragecraft, actually. Just because, like I said, wasn't planning on playing Ragecraft for a while, just because everyone was saying how, 
Just because, again, there was that converse... Ooh. There was that conversation in the, uh, the community throughout a while back where, you know, everyone was saying everyone's just, you know, imitating Ragecraft now. So I'm like, oh, I don't, I think I'm going to not play it so I can, you know, try to avoid that. And then, uh, yeah, but then my friend asked, hey, we just finished this one. I think he said they were playing Emerald Dream or something. I don't know. I, it was one I hadn't heard of. But he was like, yeah, uh, no, a good one. And I was like, well, everyone says this is amazing, so let's go try it. And it's good. It's good. I'm Actually, I've even been thinking I might do a let's analyze of some of the stuff in that also. Um, it's good. We just finished the, we just did the pink world earlier tonight also, which, which was a pretty fun one. Very fast-paced, parkour-based one. Although there was like that little special challenge in it where it's like, you know, just get the actual wool, which maybe took us an hour and a half or something. Yeah, probably hour, hour and a half. And then there was that little bonus, like, test your jumping skills challenge. You know, where you have, like, a certain amount of time to make it through a parkour course or a bunch of good loot explodes. We did not make it. And we did not, we did not even come anywhere close. Like, I think I made it the farthest on the first run. I made it about halfway and then fell off and died and... Everyone else didn't even get us. Didn't even get that far. Anyway, all right. We've got skellies shooting at us. Let's, let's take out the creeper. Like I said, the I think I've said this before, but most of the time, as long as stuff doesn't sneak up on me, I'm usually good. Especially with how much gear we have now. I mean, oh, oh, hello, gold. Wait, we don't need gold blocks for that. I. A, I've seen that gold before, and B, I always forget that we don't need gold blocks for the monument. There's like... Actually, I think it might be the only map I've ever seen that doesn't use ore blocks for the monument. So really, gold's just there to look pretty and provide me with those billions of notch apples that I used already. <laughs> I used like three in that fight. We got loads more. And shoot. Alright. Oh yeah, loads of torches. I should have blocks on my hotbar. And let's replenish that speed and that strength. So that help. Ooh! That's a, that looks like a building. Maybe I went higher than before, because I don't see, remember seeing a building. But, I don't know. Too late. Because I'm not turning back now. Oop. <laughs> oh man, I, I love whatever the knockback is. It's like, what, knockback 3 or something? I didn't get to see because he spawned, but... Uh, yeah, knockback 3. <laughs> oh, that's great. Although I hear spiders, which is not great, because they're probably cave spiders. Which I hate. I also have no idea how I'm doing on time, so hopefully this episode doesn't run long or anything. Murdered. Let's go this way instead. Which features the exact same thing. Yay. But we're, we're almost out of this section, and it looks like stuff's going to change. Ooh! In the water. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad there's water down here, honestly. That's, like, if this was void or just, or lava or, you know, anything be besides water, this area would suck. But as it is, the water just makes it fun. Especially because every time I get knocked off, it's, I think they have, like, sufficient punch or knockback that I pretty much always, you know, I fly sufficiently away from the solid ground. And let's get some free XP while we're at it. Because it's a lot of levels to repair all this armor, which is going to need to be repaired again soon. Oh, man. I wish unbreaking was actually at full effectiveness for armor. Because I know, like, regular, you know, you put unbreaking one on a pickaxe or something, right? Then each each use has a 50-50 chance of being ignored. So it essentially doubles the lifespan. 
But with armor, it's like each use has like it's like a thirty percent chance of being ignored or something. I don't know something something weird. I forget exactly what it is, but it doesn't increase the lifespan nearly as much, which is depressing. I I don't know. I kind of see why they did it, just because you know in Minecraft. In vanilla, at least, right? You get sufficient armor and you're basically invincible, but... For maps like this, it would be nice if there was a bit more... A bit more versatility, I guess, in what you could put on armor. Like, I guess if you could put that on and have it actually, you know, have a... A, a, a much stronger long-term effect would be great. Okay, let's actually break spawners now. That's a tactic I've always used also, is just light light it up first and then break it. Which sometimes get me into gets me into trouble, I've noticed, but usually it works out. The important thing is just noticing all the spawners. Haha. <laughs> uh, okay. Is that? Oh, that's still a chunk thing. Okay, what is it? F3A. Please just be an empty chunk. Oh, come on. Man, this. What is with this zone? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna. I'll do this guy first. There you go. Okay, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to load this up in, like, creative, actually. We're going to load up the... Not this specifically, but I'm going to load up the version that Moldy sent me in, in creative and just fly up there. Or fly up in viewing distance. Again, I don't I don't want to spoil anything for myself. You know, so I'm going to fly up there in creative and see if it was... If Moldy's original version that he sent me got corrupted, or if... Just, it's this particular one that I'm playing on, so I'll be right back. Alright, and we are back. This is one of my, this is one of my, uh, backup worlds, since, frankly, it is 6am right now, and I kind of don't want to bother, bother Moldy, and I still want to keep playing. So, what I did is I wrote down the coordinates for where the uh, thing broke. And what I'm going to do is place some markers down here. There we go, 479. I'm going to place some uh, little redstone blocks as markers, essentially. So that way I can load this up in MC Edit, select this the little square area, 7, negative 736, 47, yes, just triple checking that. Um, so that, yeah, I can basically, I'll be able to load this up in MC Edit and, you know, interact with it without having... Did I totally run, I totally went the wrong way, didn't I? Okay. And the other one is... God, which one did I do already? <laughs> okay, this is re really easy to get distracted on. Okay. I need negative 750... Okay, I need 464, which is this way. And then it's back this way, so... Need negative 751. Negative 751 and 464. Good. Ooh, what the? Ah, stupid set block. Anyway, so essentially, this I'm just gonna... Yeah, use as a marker so I can just select this area in MC Edit. And then, you know, extrude the little selection up to the very top and the very bottom. And then copy that into the main map. So, as I said, just because, really, I want to keep playing right now. Can't wait. I, I can't wait. Too impatient. So, I will see you back in the main world in a few minutes. All right. And we're back in the main world. And, yep, looks like the chunk loaded in. We've got the uh, little blocks there. And you can even see the uh, lighting glitches on the... Uh, the edge of the chunk where it got copied in. Anyway, let's fly back over to the thing. And let's do a few little swirls around because I'm reveling the fact that I now have flying. Wee. And, nope. Oh, let's type that right. Game mode zero. Okay. 
armor is good. Oh, should have been faster. My potions ran are running out. And by running out, I mean they'll be out by the time I get to the top of the tower. But yeah. Let's get up here. And you know what? I think we're sufficiently geared that we can just keep going, you know, and fight our way through this. Um, I'm assuming... That, oh, that was this weird lighting thing. Now, I'm assuming that at that little base up there is where the wool is. I could be completely wrong. But I think we'll pr hopefully be able to get to the base of that before this episode ends. And hopefully conquer it next time. So, yeah, I'm excited now. And hopefully we will never again have any more chunk issues because this is starting to get tedious. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go change this. When I'm done with this, I'm going to go change the signs to Tree of Chunk Issues. Alright. Yeah, is that... that? Yeah, you can't really tell it's a building anymore, I guess. <laughs> the only reason I could tell is because it was like, you know, you could see that, like this, you know, you could very... very bleh, I speak good. You could very clearly see that stone when, well, half of that island was cut away. Am I supposed to go this way? Oh, I don't have an axe, do I? Oh, that's an... Whoops. That was dumb. I mean, it's not the end of the world in terms of, you know, tediousness, but... I have a big axe. A very good big axe. Okay, good. I was wondering if this was actually, like, went anywhere. If it was... Yeah. And let's break here. So then I can just hop up using that vine. Hello. Goodbye. And hello. Goodbye. And we got it. Okay, let's have a quick snack. Because I see another spawner right there. Okay, cool. And another spawner there. All of the spawners up here. Oh, those are the tree demons from before. Cool. See, I wonder if maybe those guys aren't new and I just didn't hadn't run into them before. Yeah, I'm also getting a little bit of lag, probably because I just, you know, had to use all those programs to fix it's like i you know had notepad open to write down the coordinates and then mc edit open and then i had to switch like you know i just switched stuff in minecraft like three times to actually find the uh, right archive that had that chunk uncorrupted because i kept opening the wrong one ah. but well, uh, yeah i don't think we're gonna get to that island this episode after all Unfortunate, but not too surprising now that I really think about it. Ow. Ow. I know it would actually be a really cool feature that I don't know why they haven't done at Minecraft yet. Or like at Mojang. Is make the zombies like have dynamically generated, uh, you know, clothes. Instead of always having that same outfit, it would be cool to have just some, like, you know, some procedurally generated, like, outfits for it. So, you could just, you know, just, I mean, all would have to do would be just some simple image tinting, too. So that way you could change up, you know, what kind of pants or stuff they wear. In for the water, in for the water. Yes! Ah, that, that, that was satisfying. That was a satisfying fall. But I think the universe is, and by universe I mean zombies is telling us to end the episode here for now. So this has been Kaladoon playing Depths of Urkala, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.